for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate your shipping estimate to send to your buyer. It's kind of hard to kind of guess off the top of your head by holding the package and not everybody has the kind of scales at home to just kind of put on the scale and see it. If you sit the box on a scale you're not going to be able to see the scale because the box is going to be bigger than the scale. And usually these boxes can get pretty heavy so standing on a scale and holding a box and to try to see the difference between your weight and the package weight to get the estimate can be awfully difficult uh, at the same time. Uh, so how I do it is let's get our calculator up. So here within our example we have 500 ounces of breast milk. So I would take 500 ounces of breast milk, I would divide that by 16 since there's 16 ounces in a pound and that gives us 31.25. So we have 31.25 ounces, or excuse me, pounds for breast milk. Our shipping cooler, typically I have found the average weight of the shipping coolers, at least the styrofoam type that I use, are about five pounds. Our dry ice, is average five pounds if you use dry ice. And I always throw in five pounds for any extra or filler weight. So if you use newspaper, uh, Ziploc bags, and the fact that your breast milk estimate isn't really going to be exactly accurate because when you fill your breast milk bags and let's say you use four ounce bags some of them are going to have like 4.25 ounces and things like that so just to kind of you know get for that little extra weight that'll be in there that is really hard to calculate I typically always use five pounds now I will just go ahead and add all of those together and again I also round up so this is 31.25 pounds so just just round it to 32 pounds. So let's go here, 32. Plus five, plus five, plus five. It's 47 pounds. And again, I kind of round up a little bit more to about 48 or 49 pounds and I have found that really makes a bit of a big difference since if I go buy dry ice and I ask for five you know pounds sometimes they'll give me like 5.89 pounds so all those little bits kind of do add up and by you know throwing in just a little bit extra it really makes a difference on the quote so I'll just go actually gonna do like 48 as my estimate here so for 500 ounces we're looking about 48 pounds for all the shipping weight and thank you for watching I hope that this has really helped you today and uh, if you have any questions definitely let me know and I will be more than happy to get those answered for you and have a good day